Hello everyone, welcome back to Bear, I'm Stephanie. Today's video is March favorite. First we're gonna start off with talking about a body part that is grossly overlooked, especially now that we're going into spring and summer, and that is our feet. I exfoliate my feet every single day in the shower. This has been working really well for me. This is the Burt Bees Coconut Foot Cream, and this has vitamin E. So after I exfoliate my feet, I go ahead and apply just a small amount in. This tube, it's a very concentrated cream. It does smell like coconut. I think coconut is probably, I think, the fourth ingredient down the list. And it's really nice. It says it's 99.4% natural. This has been really working well to keep my heels nice and soft. This for me would definitely be a repurchase. The primer that I'm using up a lot is by CoverGirl and this is their True Magic Skin Perfector. This comes in a compact. So what I do is I just, with my clean fingers, I will just go ahead and get some on my fingers and I start to smooth it out onto my face. I tend to reach for this product definitely on the days when I'm not wearing any makeup. It's just to keep my face matte because I just never know if I'm going to have to go run a quick errand. And especially on those Saturday early mornings, um, 8 o'clock, 8.30 baseball practice days for my son, I bust this out, put it on my face, and you know the sun is beating down and it works great. And I could see this as a repurchase as well. And it's a drugstore item, so it's affordable too. This is by Cover FX, and it is their blotting powder, and I'm in the shade deep. Now it doesn't look deep in the compact. It's a very translucent powder, and it's wonderful to keep your face matte and shine free. But what I really love about this powder is your skin looks so good. It's like skin-like. You can still see your skin through the powder. It doesn't look cakey. It doesn't look dry. It doesn't settle into any fine lines. And to be honest, this powder photographs very well. This powder is used a lot on movie sets, you know, with the lights coming down and it's really high temperature. And Cover FX is, I believe it's a vegan brand, but you know, the, the products are um, gluten-free. So you're not gonna have anything disturbing on your skin, no harsh ingredients, and you're not gonna have any breakouts. Contour kits. Now, there is a contour kit everywhere you turn. I am absolutely in love with this cream compact and I just I can't keep putting it down and I really do love it. It's by Stilla and it's their two pan contour kit. So it's very simple. You have one side that is your contour color and your other side that is your highlight. The fact that it works exceptionally well, put that aside. It dries to a powder finish. You don't have to put anything else on top of this unlike other cream products to set it. So for that reason alone, this will always stay in my kit. It is unbelievable. It's so easy to blend out. There's no shimmer in these products as well. It shouldn't have any shimmer in it. And it's just, it's so natural. It's a natural contour and it's a natural highlight. So I feel everybody can appreciate this and, and there's no reason to feel afraid of it. Now, two tools I recommend to use if you don't have anything. The Luxie Angled Brush is really well it's synthetic or any type of an angled synthetic brush that you have. You can blend out your contour very well with that type of a brush. And then for your highlight, the Real Techniques, this is the sculpting brush. This is new that just came out. This is a great brush to blend in your highlight. So to make your triangle, wherever you highlight on your face, this brush is very good to blend that into your skin. Again, I'm in the color deep. There's light, there's medium. So there is a shade for everybody. This one is by MAC, and this is their shaping powder. The shade that I'm specifically loving is in the shade Warm Light. This has a, it's not coming out as peach as it, it is in real life. It has a peach undertone to it. So if you are my skin tone, if you have deep skin, if you are warm tone, if you are olive complexion or olive tone, golden, warm light will work very well for you. I use the shaping powder to set my under eye concealer. This sets any type of concealer that you put underneath your eyes. It will not crease, it will not budge. And the best thing about it is, is the shaping powder actually adds like this soft effect to it. Like it looks like you have like a, 
like this beautiful light that's underneath your chin and it's just beaming this perfect temperature of light underneath your face. That's the effect that this gives. That's that soft focus effect. It sets well, but again, it gives that warm glow to your skin. Next is a lipstick that I'm actually wearing right now, and this is from Hard Candy. I love Hard Candy's lipsticks. I would say the lipsticks are probably, other than the Tiki bronzer, those are the only two items from that line that I love. I love the lipsticks. And this is the Ombre lipstick, and this is in the color Modesty. And they're just so wonderful. Modesty is a nude pink-brown color. It's just absolutely gorgeous. It has an indention where you have one side that's like a matte lipstick and the other side is like a shimmer. So you're supposed to kind of swipe on one side of the lipstick and then you can swipe on the shimmer on top. I just apply it directly on top of my lips that both of the colors will blend in and it's just beautiful. Um, I like Modesty. I like Practical which is like a pink based lipstick but Modesty is what I'm really um, seem to grab the most of. Especially if you're doing any type of a little bit more of a dramatic eye look. This is just perfect for that like pinky brown nude lipstick. So we've been talking about all this makeup now let's talk about stuff to get it off the face. So the first item is by the brand Simple, and this is their cleansing micellar water. What I love about this cleansing water is A, it's very affordable. B, I love to put it on when I don't have any makeup on. So I'm about to hop in the shower at night. I'll put it on with a cotton pad and it takes off any sunscreen, any dirt on my face before I wash my face. And you can actually see it on the cotton pad. So it's great. I know it's breaking down whatever's on my face. If you're a person that doesn't like to use toner, this is great to just go ahead and right after you wash your face, put it on your face with a cotton pad. It will just get rid of any type of extra residue or whatnot you might have on your face. It's not going to irritate your skin. It's not going to change the pH balance of your skin. It's just great. It's a great cleansing water to really, you know, do what it needs to do on your face. So I really like it. And it's like, what, 4 or $5 at the drugstore. And it's sold, you know, wherever simple products are sold. It's cleansing oil. This is a travel size version from MAC. This is their Cleanse Off Oil. Now, I have to admit, I did write this off the first time that I used it for the sole reason I'm used to using thicker texture oils to remove my makeup. And this oil is very thin. But what I noticed is when I would tone my face, I would still have extra contour or bronzer just around the perimeter of my face. So I was using the simple water to get you know, extra product off my face. Then I said, okay, I'm gonna go back and use up this oil because I'm just not gonna let it sit there. I, you know, my goal is to use up my products. So I went back, I used this, I focused on you know, the neck area, wherever around my hairline, got in the shower, washed my face, came out, put the toner on the cotton pad, and I mean, there was nothing on that cotton pad. No bronzer, no contour, nothing. So that told me that this oil is getting all my makeup off. I got over that whole texture issue real quick. I don't want any makeup on my face before I hit that pillow. So I'm back to using it now. Almost done with it and I will be purchasing a full size bottle. So again, this is the MAC Cleanse Off Oil. And last item is you can use as a facial spray or you can use like as a toner. I use it in various manners and this is by Mario Badescu and it's the facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water. I'm also almost done with this. You can use it to refresh your makeup. You can use it, you know, you can spray it on your beauty blender if you're not near a sink and start applying your foundation. Um, I also like to use it like if I'm traveling, if I, if I didn't pack toner, I can just spray it on my face. It gives me the same effect. It can take off any type of residue. It refreshes my skin. There's lots of ways to use this. Now as we're going into summer, if you have a sunburn and you're out in the sun, spray this on. It really will calm your skin down because it's you, you know, your skin is still cooking after you are experiencing a sunburn. There's so many uses to this product. That's it. Those
those are all my favorites for the month of March. I would love to know what you have been using up this month of March. Please leave that information down as comments in the down bar for me. I also welcome you to visit all of Bear's social media sites. It's all listed down in the down bar for Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, you name it, we're there. Thank you very much for stopping by. I hope you have a wonderful day or evening. And as always, I'm gonna see you in the next video. Bye. Using your 130 brush, take any type of a cream highlighter and create that triangle design underneath your eyes.